And welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about a new bike that has just come out. And this bike will be shipping in late, uh, or I think it's late February. And the bike is the Dirt Goat electric dirt bike. And this bike is by Goat Power Bikes. And I am going to go over some of the specs on the bike. So this bike, as I say, is a dirt bike. It does uh, not have pedals. And it is a 72 volt, 3000 watt motor. And that motor peaks at 6,000 watts, and that is a gearless hub motor. And the battery is 72 volt, 30 amp hour. So if there's one thing on this bike that I would say it could be better it would be that i think a preference would probably be a 40 amp hour battery but um it does have a 30 amp <clears throat> the bike has a uh, newton meters of torque is 375 This bike does come with fenders. And just to let you know what it looks like, uh, comparable is to the, it looks like a Saran or a Talaria. So if you're familiar with Sarans or Talarias, and you're into that kind of style of bike, then you might want to check this out. I will leave a link in the description so the range because it's only a 30 amp hour battery so you're not going to get as much range but they are saying 40 miles assuming you drive or ride uh, 25 miles an hour so if you ride faster than that then you're not going to get obviously as much and Speaking of speed, the bike has a top speed of 53 miles per hour. And one thing I really like about this bike is that it has a seat height of 30 inches. A lot of these bikes have seats that are 34 inches or even more than that sometimes. And that's just too high and uh for uh, some of us anyway uh so we need to accommodate some of the shorter riders too you know and, and yeah. so they can get on the bike and be able to uh handle the bike and not having any uh have any anxiety over the bike is high and when i come to a stop you know it's gonna be a little tougher which is totally understandable. Now the bike does weigh quite a bit. It weighs about 147 pounds. So we're talking a pretty good weight. And it is a Bafang motor, if I didn't mention that already. The controller, I don't know exactly the size of the controller, but it's at least a 60 amp, or it might be a bit more, but it's a minimum at least 60. The maximum uh, payload is uh, 275 pounds.
And like I say, they will be shipping these bikes end of February. Uh, so not too far away. And uh, if you want to go check it out, like I say, I will leave a link in the description from Goat Power Bikes. And let's talk about the price of the bike. So this bike is going to go for $39.99. That's $1,000 off if you buy it now. Uh, because the regular price is going to be $49.99. So $39.99 is not bad. If I, like I say, if there's one thing I could, I would like to be a little bit more and that would be the battery i i think a i think a 40 amp hour battery would probably be uh where you'd want to be or even more but at least a 40 amp hour i mean don't forget too the the larger the battery that you get obviously your price is going to go up because the battery is the biggest cost of your bike if you had to single that out uh, you know, break down the bike's uh, prices, the pricing of all the uh, all the components and stuff on your bike. It's the battery that always costs you the most. But the nice thing is, this bike is a 72 volt and a top speed of 53 miles per hour. So this bike has some get up and go. And if that torque is correct, 375 newton meters. My goodness. That's some uh, serious uh, torque. So check that out. It's the goat. Uh, it's the dirt goat by Goat Power Bikes. It looks like a clone of the. Uh, a Saran or a Talaria. And let me know in the comments what you think of the bike. Or if you have a comment on another video, go ahead and leave that in the comments. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and also subscribe if you'd like to subscribe. Thank you very much. And if you hit that notification bell, you will get a notification that a new video is up on the channel. We try to put a video up every single day. And check out the shorts too. I got some short videos I've been putting up for, for quite a while now. And I try to put one of those up every day, but um, we'll see if we can keep that going or not. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's gonna do it for this video. I will leave a link in the description for the Dirt Goat. To check it out and check out the full specs and that's going to do it then until next time so uh, we'll see you on the next video